when I was younger, I used to party a lot. I used to go clubbing, used to drink, used to smoke. I always had this mindset that I am independent and you don't have to depend on anybody. And then one day my life changed. I know that I died, nearly died nine times around there um, because that's what my family was sharing with me. My mother even bought my funeral blouse as well as in preparing already. So I was really nearly gone. You know, it was very strange because every part of my body was broken, damaged, had a tube or something. But you know, my, my inside wasn't broken. <laughs> I remember calling for the name of Jesus and I also found out that actually it was during around that time that I had started to get better suddenly. When I woke up, I wasn't, I wasn't the person that I went to sleep from. Then the first time I saw my hands, I at that time somewhat already knew that, you know, the hands and legs had turned gangrene. So I couldn't move my limbs and everything. I had time to think and I thought, God, I mean, you could have left, you know, one finger at least. I can do a lot with that one finger, I mean, I can't believe that of all the things, I lost all four limbs. Like, how am I going to move forward with no limbs at all? So that's when I start to hear the Holy Spirit or the feeling of comfort telling me that, you know, I can work with your heart. It's what you need, your heart, more than anything else. Before, my lifestyle was very independent. So being so self-reliant and then all of a sudden, you, you have no limbs. So I have to accept my situation quickly. It is very humbling indeed. Like for example, I, somebody comes and wipes your face and then they start wiping your nose first. Maybe you like to wipe your forehead first. Maybe you like to wipe under your chin first. It's different, right? And then they start doing a different method. Then you start to move here like, like, like so odd, right? So if I had not um, humbled myself and allowed the help to come, then I will always have a hard time receiving the help. My relationship with my mom before wasn't very good, but my relationship with my mom is very beautiful now. I feel that um, both of us have been able to show grace and love to each other because of Christ. And I feel that God wanted mom to be the caretaker for me and wanted me to humble myself to accept her help because uh, our relationships were not really very close previously. Sometimes I feel that people think less than of me. So when I go out, there are people and then they walk away from me or so children tend to point and ask questions. You know, that makes me feel very small. There are times when um, I get so tired and uh, so sad and so confused with my own situation. And I'll cry to the Lord and I'll pray la, every time and talk to Him. Somehow the Holy Spirit always comforts me. And the next day when I wake up, it's, it's water under the bridge, it's forgotten. You know, so I believe that every time I cry to the Lord, right, He has always healed that pain. The main thing actually is that I know that Christ loves me and if He loves me so much, right, then why would I be less than? A lot of the time, instead of getting upset, somehow I'm able to have grace and love still for these people because I understand that they are curious or they are unsure and it's not anybody's fault. I never felt more alive compared to before because, <laughs> I mean, what was I doing in my last, before this, what kind of life was I living? You know, secluded by myself and so self-centered. And today I'm not, I don't think I'm that person anymore. I don't even recognize me sometimes. He is teaching me to love more, how to forgive. These are feeling related qualities. You don't need hands and legs to have this, you see. So even though I've had these wrist functions available for me 
which I'm very grateful for. The main thing that God is trying to transform and wants to transform me is from my heart. I think that is a, a bigger uh, grace as opposed to having hands. This journey has been painful. Please do not misunderstand the pain in the journey. But if it were to happen again, all over again, I would say yeah in a heartbeat because I've gained so much. And he's given me joy and peace through this whole suffering. You know, I'm sitting here, I'm smiling, I'm able to laugh, I'm able to joke, I'm able to visit people and help if I can. And that is just joy, you know, it's just pure peace. And then for my mother to be looking after me and for us to have this relationship, this house, our dog, our quiet, there's no drama, it's amazing. I know who I am in Christ right now. I know of His love and His grace for me. I just need to tell the world that He loves us and He's real and He really cares for us.